The MBT-3000 also named VT-4 for the export version is a new generation of main battle tank designed and manufactured by the Chinese defense company Norinco. According to Norinco, VT-4 is the latest technology of main battle tank especially designed to meet the challenge of high-tech warfare. Its overall performance and combat capabilities are among the most advanced main battle tanks in the world. MBT-3000 was unveiled for the first time to the public at the International Defense Exhibition Eurosatory in June 2012. At the China International Aviation and Aerospace Exhibition 2014, the Chinese defense company Norinco has showed for the first time, a remodel of its new main battle tank VT-4. In August Norinco presented, to diplomats military officials and defense contractors from 44 countries, a demonstration of its latest tank designed for export. The tank not only costs almost $3 million less than its American rival, an automatic loader for the main gun allows it operate with three crew members instead of four. At the Defense Exhibition AAD 2014 in Pretoria, Namibia's Deputy Defense Minister has showed interest for the new Chinese main battle tank. The VT-4's roots are in the Alcolid tank developed in the 1990s. The Alcolid tank was largely built with mostly Chinese and Pakistani technology, but problem for the Chinese designers was their lack of ability to provide a power plant for the tank. The engines for the tank had to be sourced from Germany or Ukraine. Ukraine ended up providing the production run for the Alcolid tank. As a result, the VT-4 program's primary objective when it began in 2009 was to build an indigenous power plant for future domestic and export tanks. Due to the success of this engine development program, many VT-4 marketing materials tout their reliability and performance of its engine. Pakistan is looking forward to testing the new MBT-3000 main battle tank. The main armament of the MBT-3000 consists of 125mm smoothbore gun fitted with a thermal sleeve and fume extractor. It is fed by an automatic loader which holds a total of 22 projectiles and charges which can be loaded at the rate of 8 per minute. The MBT-3000 can carry a total of 38 rounds of main ammunition. Types of separate loading ammunition that can be fired by the 125mm smoothbore gun include kinetic energy penetrator high-explosive squash head and high-explosive anti-tank warhead. The mounted coaxial to the right of the main armament is a 7.62mm machine gun, while mounted on the commander's cupola is a remotely weapon station armed with a 12.7mm heavy machine gun, for engaging ground and aerial targets. Mounted either rear side of the turret is a bank of six electrically operated smoke grenade launchers which fire forwards. In addition, the tank is equipped with a set of guided weapons, allowing use of a guided missile GP-125 a version of 9K119 NATO codename Reflex with a range of up to 5 km. This missile is produced in China under license. The overall layout of the MBT-3000 is conventional with the driver's compartment at the front, fighting compartment in the center and power pack at the rear. The MBT-3000 has a crew of three, including commander gunner and driver. The driver is seated in the center and has a single piece hatch cover that lifts and swings to the right and in front of this are three day periscopes, the center one of which can be replaced by a passive periscope for driving at night. The commander is seated on the right and the gunner is seated on the left with both provided with single piece roof hatches and vision devices. The turret is in the center and is of all welded steel armor construction to which a layer of composite armor has been added over the frontal arc. To increase the body side protection, the MBT-3000 can be fitted with Explosive Reactive Armor ERA. The hull armor of the VT-4 is estimated to be around 5 to 600 mm or HA without ERA plates, and 7 to 800 with the ERA package. Storage baskets are mounted to the rear and each side of the turret. The MBT-3000 is motorized with water-cooled turbocharged electronic-controlled diesel engine developing 1300 HP. 
Suspension is of the torsion bar type with hydraulic shock absorbers and either side consists of six large duo rubber tired road wheels with the drive sprocket at the front, idler at the rear and track return rollers. To extend the operational range of the MBT3000, two additional diesel fuel drums can be mounted externally at the rear. The 52 tons MBT300 can run a maximum road speed of 70 km per hour with a maximum cruising range of 500 km. MBT3000 can forward a depth of 4 to 5 meters with preparation and a trench of 2.7 meters. The tank can climb a gradient of 60% and a vertical obstacle of 1.2 meters maximum. The MBT3000 is equipped with a stabilized fire control including second generation cooled thermal imager sights for the commander and gunner. The tank is also fitted with laser range finder. The tank commander position is fitted with a roof mounted stabilized panoramic sight that allows a target to be acquired and then handed over to the gunner for engagement. Standard equipment of the MBT3000 includes collective NBC protection system, IFM, identification, friend or foe. GL5 Active Protection System, Fire Extinguisher Feature, Air Conditioning System and Explosion Suppression System. The Active Protection System is linked to Laser Threat Warning with Smoke Shell Launchers. The Driver Position is also equipped with a Rear Camera and Monitor fitted for whilst driving in reverse. While the capabilities of the VT4 are not revolutionary in any way, unlike some claims from Norinco, it is a solid tank for its price, that will likely have good support from the manufacturing base in China. Survivability-wise, it has the same potential issues of the T72 and T90 series due to the same ammo layout. While the gun performance is unlikely to be on the same level as the latest American, Chinese or Russian guns, due to being based on last generation round technology, it should be enough to counter most armored threats that aren't top tier. As such, the VT4 is likely to be a popular export to nations without the budget or political connections to Russia, Europe or the United States, as a good enough tank.